How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I'm going to be doing a, a review on a new product called the Big Fi or Biggie Fi. And this is a really cool little device. Uh, think of like what uh, Chromecast does but on a bigger scale. Um, basically it's a, uh, a HDMI dongle that plugs uh, right into the back of your TV. So your TV just has to have an HDMI connection. And this part just plugs right in the back of the TV. And um, there is a micro USB cable that plugs into the back of the little uh, device and the other end can either plug into a USB on the TV or you can plug it into the wall with a uh, USB adapter. And basically what it does is it lets you actually uh, take Android and put it on your TV. So um, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to our uh, big screen TV so you can actually see what it looks like. And um, basically here it is. So. Uh, this is a full screen TV and just so you don't think this is an actual tablet, I'm actually going to scroll over so you can see this is, uh, you know, I'm in my little room here, office. And, uh, but this is it. So this is actually a 40 inch TV that we have it displayed on. And, um, I actually have a couple of widgets that are on the screen. So on the right, I have my email widget. On the left, I have a note widget. And in the middle, we have our clock and we have our, um, our weather. So imagine being able to turn your TV and see all your new emails in the morning and see those little notes that you left for yourself the day before, your little reminders. Um, and then basically your phone uh, syncs up with it and basically becomes the remote for it. So this is it right here. And so there's two modes. In one of the modes, your phone becomes like a, a, a trackpad. So actually, as I move here, you see um, I move right along the screen just like that. All right. So for example, I can go and tap on one of these notes if I wanted to see, um, you know, like open it up, tap it or uh, do two taps there. And uh, it'll open up my note and take me right there. It takes a little bit of a second. But there it is. So it opens up. And I can interact with the app, um, you know, as if it was on my phone. But now it's on the TV. Because, again, you, you've got the whole Android interface now on your TV. So uh, that's one of the great parts about it is, is just being able to interact with it. Well, one of the key features which I love about it and what separates it from Chromecast is that you can get so many more apps where Chromecast right now is still new it's limited only certain apps will work for it but with this um, the app number is pretty much unlimited you can get just about any app in the app store and just to show you at the bottom of the screen there I have uh, Angry Birds which is an app you can't currently play with Chromecast as well as Instagram I downloaded the Instagram app so let's open that up real quick imagine being able to open up Instagram and you could actually look at your um, you know all the people that are on your uh, timeline. These are some people that that follow me, so I follow them back. But um, you could actually, you know, wake up now. Um, real fast here, I'm going to switch the mode here because in the mouse mode it's hard to scroll. So if we just tap up here, um, you can now switch the mode, and now you can actually use your fingers to actually do a faster scroll. So it's it's think of it as if you're touching a tablet. So this is kind of cool because you can actually move through. Uh, Instagram quicker now uh, I don't really know a lot of people that I'm following so hopefully nothing weird pops up here but uh, this is just an example of hey you could wake up and take a look at all your Instagram photos and stuff uh, right on your TV instead of on your tablet so kind of a cool feature there and again in this mode um, whatever you touch it's like you touching the screen so I could um, tap uh, the bottom here and it would open up my app drawer see that and just as I, as I uh, swipe, um, it will swipe over screen instead of swipe hard, actually. There we go. So just see that. So really cool just being able to interact with your, your screen. Um, and again, you know, who, who would want to get Android on your full TV? I even have at the bottom here, the bottom left, I have Netflix. So we can open up Netflix. Um, and I can just start playing a, a movie. So I can just go down here and let's say hey, I want to play some Mad Men or some Weeds, you know, I'm signed in already, so, you know, just easy to pick it and just go. Whereas, you know, um, again, I'm and, and no bash to Chromecast, but this kind of gives you a little bit more functionality and you can kind of do it quicker, whereas you have to do a little more work when you do do it with uh, the Chromecast. So, um, and you can download, again, all the streaming apps. Uh, we got our YouTube on here, Hulu. You name it, it's on here. You can do Pandora, you can do your Spotify, your Google Music. Um, 
so all the streaming is unlimited and will just play right through your TV speakers um, so that I've been kind of stressing one like the main features of it but there's some other great things it does too um, which is uh, you can play gesture games so um, you can download like there's like, like racing games where you actually get to control you know with your phone if you download those games your uh, phone will allow you to do the gestures and you could maneuver and control right from the phone so that's pretty cool too because it now your phone kind of becomes your controller but now you can see it on a bigger screen so that's a great feature as well and there's a cool bowling game I like too where you actually have to pull your arm back and do the motion and you can again sync that up you literally would just come down to our uh, play store which is the bottom here and here is where you can search and you can download apps you can download all the regular stuff you can get on your phone or on an Android tablet, you got it on your TV now. So if you wanted to rent a movie, you could do it right through here. You could download books, audiobooks, whatever. Um, and to um, another great feature, and this is also another feature that you don't get with the Chromecast, is that you can actually add a memory card. So it does come with four gigabytes of storage, but you can add a micro USB, excuse me, not micro USB, a micro SD card, which will allow you to expand it you know 16 gigs 32 gigs and i think uh, possibly up to 64 gigs so um imagine being able to download uh videos and store them so you just open this up and you can just play it immediately right through the uh big five so another great feature and i saved the best for last and this is a pretty revolutionary feature that you will, will won't really find yet on main devices is the ability to uh link up multiple devices and be able to play head to head against uh, your friends. So for example, I'm using this with an Android phone, but this is compatible with iOS. So I could link up an iPhone and control it the same way. I could even link up an Android phone and an iPhone and I can play head to head. So there's not a lot of games that are uh, developed yet for the um, multi-user interface. But um, more developers are signing on, and, and the best part about that is, hey, you know, imagine you have four friends over. Everyone pulls their phone out, everyone syncs up to it, and now you're playing a game, and everybody is, is synced together with it. So that's the revolutionary feature of Big Five that you won't find on any other devices or any other boxes is the ability to play with multiple users. So... Um, this is a great little device. Had a lot of fun playing around with it. I really love the widget aspect of it. Like, I want to add my stocks. And, you know, so, like, literally, I want to wake up and be able to turn on the TV and say, hey, okay, I know it's going to be 70 degrees today. I know that this stock is doing bad. This stock is doing good. I've got new emails. I've got new notes. So that's one of the, the, the features I love the most about it. But, as you can see, it does so much. Um, this is available for purchase today. Uh, not today, but already. Uh, it does retail for $89.99, and you can get it uh, via Amazon. And you can get it, set it up. I will have a link in the description where you can purchase it. And I'll have another link, which is a company video that will show you how to set it up. The setup is really fast. So it's quick, it's simple, and you'll be on your way in no time using it and setting it up and customizing it and getting Android on your um, TV screen. So... Uh, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you uh, found the video informative and helpful. Again, this is a really cool device, and I'm really glad I was able to review it. Uh, make sure you like, favorite, and share the video if you found it helpful. If you know someone that you think would be interested in this product, hey, go ahead and share the video with them too so they can check it out. Thanks for watching. Take care, and have a good one.